Today I'm going to show you guys a little bit of this awesome beginner submarine. Let's get right into it. Hello everybody, my name is Shisotis and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to build this awesome yellow submarine here. Now, if you're looking at it and saying that it looks a lot like last week's build, You'd be correct, because it actually shares pretty much the exact same design with a few key changes. One, the armor type. Two, the armor count. It's got a bit more armor. I'm not exactly sure where that came from, but <gasps> whatever. <laughs> and it also has different cannons. As you can see, these are the beginner cannons, and these are the level 95 cannons. So let's go ahead and sell these two ships to help prevent lag. And I'm going to show you how to build it. So, to get started, we're going to go ahead and place down two spice planks, just like that. Then we're going to place a bit of golden hair armor, make sure it's lined up. Looks good enough to me. Then we'll place another spice plank, so we have this kind of dual rail design going on. And we're going to go ahead and place something to mark the front of our ship. I'm just going to use a small teleport, and now we're going to go ahead and compress a bunch of wood here at the front. So, put two planks right there two planks right here. Yikes, yeah, we're getting moved around. I think he was drowning earlier. That's cool. Anyways, so we're going to press Y twice, and with the help of an auto-clicker, we're going to click 100 times. Now, if you guys want to do the same thing, I'll put an auto-clicker in the description down below. Make sure to set it to 25 milliseconds and repeat 100 times. If your PC is a little laggy, maybe set that to 100 milliseconds, and you'll be good to go. Now, if you don't want to use an auto-clicker, that's fine. You can click 100 times, but auto clicker is way faster and it's actually super accurate because it does exactly 100 times no more no less once we're done with that we can go ahead and delete these reference planks and go back here and do one two three four one two three four and boom that's literally all the wood that we need for this ship now we can go ahead and start armoring a little bit and we'll finish the armoring after we put the cannons down because you can't really armor this before you've put the cannons or else things can go way wrong. So let's go ahead and armor these up. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like the last design. <gasps> Oopsies. Oops. Okay, technical difficulties aside, we've now got some of the armor done. We'll do the rest in just a little bit. But now let's go ahead and start working on our cannons. So to do that, we're gonna put a piece of golden hair or whatever armor you're using right here. And then we're gonna go up one time, just once, and that's it. Next, we're gonna place a piece of armor right here. And as you can see, they don't line up. Don't worry about that, we will fix it. So now let's go ahead and, and we'll go ahead and have our friend shoot these cannons out. And if you don't have someone to shoot the cannons out for you, you might want to get the help of someone, or you might want to get the help of an auto, just like the last design. <gasps> Oopsies! 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 I did an oopsie. It's okay, I'll fix it real quick. Okay, technical difficulties aside, we've now got some of the armor done. We'll do the rest in just a little bit. But now, let's go ahead and start working on our cannons. So, to do that, we're going to put a piece of golden hair, or whatever armor you're using, right here. And then we're going to go up one time. Just once, and that's it. Next, we're going to place a piece of armor right here. And as you can see, they don't line up. Don't worry about that. We will fix it. So now, let's go ahead and... And we'll go ahead and have our friend shoot these cannons out. And if you don't have someone to shoot the cannons out for you, you might want to get the help of someone, or you might want to get the help of an auto -clicker. As you can see, we've got our cannons right there. We'll put another one right here. And they have to pretty much line up almost with this golden hair armor up at the front. That's the main reason it's actually right there. Anyways, let's go ahead and place some armor on the bottom of these cannons. That way, if we're diving, people can't easily shoot them out or whatever. 
So now we're gonna wait till the flood happens and we'll have them shoot these out. Okay guys, we're back. The flood has just started. We're gonna go ahead and have our friend German shoot these cannons out. Okay, so we're back. The flood has started. We're gonna have our friend shoot these cannons out. Okay, and boom, that is all the cannons we need. He's gonna shoot out this final one. And then we can go ahead and get this armor placed and put our seat down really quickly. So to place on our seat, we're going to rotate it a couple times, press Y, so it looks like this. If you press Y and it looks like this, press and hold Shift and Y at the same time, and you should be good to go. So we're going to place it right in here. Make sure it's not sticking out the front because that's uh, going to be a nightmare to armor. Hey, there we go. Remember earlier how I told you guys it was going to work on putting that armor up? Well, now we're going to do that. So... We're gonna go here, we're gonna press Y a couple times, press T. And actually, we should delete the seat first. And then we'll delete these up at the front. And as you can see, the cannons are sticking out just a little bit. And once we repair them, they'll actually be there. Let's go ahead and move our camera. Oh my god! Alright, I'm gonna place these without claiming our rewards because... Eh. Okay, that's good enough for me. Awesome! So now we have all 10 of our cannons there, and just to confirm, 10 out of 10. Let's go ahead and put this guy back on our team, and we'll finish arming the ship up by doing this, so... You might be asking yourself, okay, well, how are we gonna armor this? The seat's in the way. Actually... If you play, depending on where you place your seat, one, two, three, four. Now, something important to note that whenever you do place your seat, the further back you place it, the worse your handling is going to be. So if you want super duper sensitive handling, put your seat closer to the front. Make sure it's not sticking out of this armor piece, of course. But if you want less sensitive handling, then put your seat probably closer to the back. Move away from all these Q pop-ups. And we'll go one, two, three... Oh, four. Because we put the seat so back, we actually need a bit more of a different armor ratio. As you can see, it looks like this instead of the other one, which has the armor like this, where the armor is going up and then down. But here, the armor is going down and then up. So now we can go ahead, and press Y or press T a couple times. Put this here. God, rotating is kind of a nightmare in this game sometimes. Anyways, let's go ahead and. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. What's happening? Okay. Wow. That is mind boggling. That's mind bogglingly stupid. Anyways, we're going to have to armor this in a bit of a different way. Now, if you guys don't put your seat here, building it with the armor is going to be a little different. You're going to have to go down along here and stop, put armor there, and then put armor there. That way it all lines up. But because I put the seat so far back, it's a bit different. So now let's go ahead and rotate this, and we're going to go into medium precision mode by pressing control once. And then we'll just place armor right here. Skip out on this middle part for now, because we need to compress the armor. What? 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 
Oh, I see what we did there. Okay. Then we're going to place the armor up here, just like this. Make sure it's back a little bit. Perfect. Now, see how this armor is sticking out? And that one, that armor is not. That's because the cannons are right there, and the cannons are a little stupid, and they won't let you put armor right there. But if you put all this armor on first, and then you put the cannons, you, should, you shouldn't have that problem. But because we did it in a bit of a different way, we do have that problem. So, we're going to press T two times. And then we're going to compress inside. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, we can go ahead and delete that. And then we'll put some right there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now we can actually put down our armor. Now notice this is a bit larger in the front than the original, and that's fine. Yours could look different from this, it could look different from that, and that's fine. As long as you have the basics down for the submarine, you'll be good to go. It mostly matters the sequence of when you put the cannons down and the armor. <laughs> okay, that was weird. But it matters what sequence you put things in, when you put the seat, where you put the seat. You don't have to put the seat here. You don't have to put the seat here. If you really wanted to, you could put the seat back here, but then it wouldn't dive properly. So please try to keep the seat up in the front. And yeah, let's go ahead and use the speed glitch on this thing. Oh, let's go ahead and use the speed glitch right here. As you can see, it works flawlessly. It dives, goes back up. <gasps> I forgot the most important thing! Alright, we gotta teleport out of here real quick. Because we have to put the balancing beam. If we do not have this, go into mini precision mode, then we are screwed. So we're just gonna go under here. Remember, medium precision mode, and put it right there. If you don't have that, your submarine is not going to work properly. So please, please, please make sure you have that. See, dives much better now. Man, I was wondering why it was diving so well. I was like, what the heck? But there, we have great diving. It's awesome. So guys, that's it for this submarine. If you like this video, please drop a thumbs down. If you want to see more WFB content like this, please smash that subscribe button. We're almost to 300. I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.